Hi guys and gals and kittens. So in uh, this video I'm going to show you shwoogle.com. Uh, there's a link in the description of the YouTube video. Basically it is uh, WebGPT uh, but it's open source and uh, I can provide either a search query or an absolute URL. Uh, if I provide a search query it's going to use DuckDuckGo to search then it's going to extract the uh, 5,000 first uh, OpenAI tokens it uh, finds by scraping the top five results uh, originating from DuckDuckGo. And then it will use uh, that as context and couple it with my instruction here and invoke ChatGPT. So here you can see summarize the following content. Okay, but change this one to give me all historical highlights now uh, as markdown bullet list as a uh, now hopefully the idea being that now it's going to provide me with a bulleted list of Leonardo da Vinci's life uh, now you can also provide an absolute URL such as if I go to, for instance, uh, cnn.com here and I find some random article. I'm just going to find uh, anything here, really, that is quite recent. I'm just copy it, have it on my clipboard. Let's wait until this guy is done. As you can see here now, it uh, followed my uh, instruction quite accurately and created a bulleted list. Now, if I uh, provide a direct URL to this and then I create a uh, two paragraph summary of the following then uh, instead of doing a search it's going to scrape that particular article and uh, use only that as it is invoking ChatGPT with my instruction here you can see it's the CEO of Nvidia CEO of AMD blah 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 etc etc you can also do site search site stack overflow dot com now create a c sharp method I'll actually provide a search here mail kit my kit send email create a c sharp method that sends an email my kit and mail kit is probably a bad example because probably ChatGPT would be able to do that by itself because it's a very popular uh, library but if you have edge libraries that aren't really that popular, right, and that ChatGPT doesn't really know how to generate code in, then I would suspect uh, that this is a superior way uh, to generate code than both Copilot and uh, ChatGPT. Why? Because uh, ChatGPT is very, very good at understanding uh, context. So if you have a documentation uh, website for a particular library, and you want uh, ChatGPT to generate code, then actually by providing it the link to uh, the documentation for that particular thing you're trying to accomplish within that uh, library's documentation website, ChatGPT is actually going to understand the structure and actually be able to correctly um, generate code for your particular instruction. So anyways, uh, that was it for today's video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and all that good stuff. And uh, there's a link in the description uh, to schwoogle.com. Everything is open source. You can click the link here. You come to GitHub. And uh, it uh, uh, is easily installable on your own server. And or you can download it and play, uh, play with it uh, locally if you wish. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.